All right, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Storm with Creative Community Solutions, and we are out here at the Gas South District. The Atlanta Gladiators are back in action tonight, and we are basically almost on the ice, but you need to make it down here tonight, January 19th, 7.30 p.m. Uh, for face-off. We've got one of the players that's taken a couple of minutes to just kind of give us a little bit of the inside scoop. So could you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Brendan Hoffman. I'm number 22. I'm a forward for the Gladiators. Originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, actually. Okay. Close. Yeah, right. I-85, right there. The, you know, the 704. Yep. Got it. So before talking about tonight's game, share with us a little bit about why hockey. Of all the different things, sports-wise, whatever, what is it about hockey that makes you so passionate and so purposeful about playing the game? Uh, I'd say it was probably the atmosphere. I mean, growing up, you didn't have too much hockey in the Southeast at all. I mean, you had the Gladiators down here years ago, but... In uh, Charlotte, I remember I I went on a school trip to a rink, and there was a former NHLer giving private lessons there, and I think from there I kind of just wanted to try it, and I fell in love once I hit the ice. Okay, great. Now, of course, we know the season is a grind, no pun intended. Started off hot, had a few bumps in the road, but one thing that in interviewing players is maintaining team focus, team chemistry. Talk about how important that is so you're able to navigate through when things are a little bit challenging, but then when things are a little bit more fluid. Yeah, you know, teams go hot and cold, I think, throughout the year. Uh, I think the thing that's really important is kind of maintaining a consistent atmosphere in the locker room, being able to come in day by day and kind of know there's guys who've got your back, you know, it's a friendly environment, no one's hostile, everyone's kind of getting along with each other. It makes it so that the highs are higher and the lows don't seem as low. So I think it's important, you know, you got a group like this who get along so well. I've only been here for two and a half weeks, but I think it's, you know, it's left an impression on me, the guys in this room that, uh, you know, definitely keep it a good locker room and, you know, keep their heads high and, you know, they're not going to get down too fast, but they're not going to get too high. It's, you know, it's important. You know, you see it in, you know, veteran guys in the team, you know, with younger guys. And, you know, it's it's important to kind of keep your head stable, I'd say, throughout the season. Okay. And I think the underlying theme is maintaining perspective. And I'm glad that you shared that because sometimes it's easy when things are successful and then when things are not going as smoothly. So I'm really glad that you talked about that theme. Coming into tonight. What are things that you feel like you guys need to do to help set a tone early to put yourself in a position to come out with a win? Uh, definitely keeping the puck out of our end as, as much as possible. You know, when we're able to have that freedom in the other end in the offensive zone, you know, we kind of get we get more confident as the game builds and momentum builds. And I feel like once we get the pucks behind them and we take the body, we get them a little nervous, we'll be able to really you know play our game and execute what we want. Okay, last question. You have a lot of wisdom, knowledge, experience, love for the game. You already talked about the theme of perspective. Are there any other themes or ideas that you'd like to share with younger players, coaches, or fans of the game as it relates to this wonderful game of hockey? I mean, I think the best thing, as cliche as it sounds, is uh, everyone preaches hard work and you know, obviously that's kind of in everyone's, everyone's, you know, head when they're younger is working hard and doing the extra things. But, you know, I think a thing that's even bigger, that's probably as big as that is consistency. Because, you know, as you grow up, you, you know, if you're talking to a scout or if, you know, you're 12 trying to try out for a team, you know, people talk about you and what they want to hear is you're a consistently good player, a good kid off the ice, on the ice. You know, you're not someone who has crazy off days or crazy good days and no one can tell what's going to happen. But consistency is probably the one thing I've learned in a long time that really does stick in the long term. Well, I tell you what, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your pregame routine to talk with us. Obviously, best wishes for tonight and best wishes on the season. Yeah, thank you very much.